So let's take a look at all of the different ways that you can get the version of PowerShell. Uh, so here they are. You got git host.version, host.version, the registry, and ps version table.ps version. And if that's what you're looking for, hey, great. Thanks for watching. Uh, but I want to run through why some of these methods are good and some of them are not. So first off, git host.ps version. So here in VS Code, I'm running in an integrated host. And if I look at the output, I get PowerShell 5.1 which I don't expect because I'm running PowerShell 7. Hmm. So let's take a look at the output in PowerShell 7. Git host.version does return 7.2.3. And then if I run it in PowerShell 5.1 or Windows PowerShell, I get PowerShell 5.1. So the git host commandlet uh, pulls the version from the host or the program that is running PowerShell. And, it's, and it, the version is not always the same as the version of PowerShell that you're running. And another weird thing here is if we run this command in a remote session, the version is even a different number. So the git host.version is one here in a remote session. And I know for a fact that you can't run PowerShell version one on server 2022. And I mean, why would you want to? <laughs> so, so git host is not a reliable way to do it because it's looking at the host. And if we look at the host automatic variable dot version, this is going to look suspiciously similar to git host. And the output in PowerShell 7, hmm. Or the output in PowerShell 5, that all looks the same. Well, so the host automatic variable is the output of git host. So that's why it looks the same. So even in a remote session, it's still going to return the same output. And you can see here that I didn't include the dot version. Now, this is just the whole output of host. But you can see the version there is 1.0.0.0. Same as before. So git host, host, it's going to be the exact same output. So the other way we can do it is we can get the version from the registry. So you can see the path here, software, Microsoft, PowerShell 3, PowerShell engine. And we're specifically looking at the PowerShell version property. And we're going to use git item property. And we can see that we got PowerShell 5.1. And it's important to note that this is Windows PowerShell specific. You can't do this for PowerShell 7. But here on line 44, we can typecast that version. And so we can actually get the major minor build revision. So we can do some comparisons if we need to. Uh, and lastly, we can use reg query to get this without even using PowerShell. So we can just use the command prompt if we wanted. And then the output's gonna be the same even if we run it in a remote session. So the output here, 5.1.20348. That's exactly what I would expect. But again, that only works for Windows PowerShell. So the last way, and coincidentally enough, the best way to find your PowerShell version is using the PS version table automatic variable. So typically folks will reference the PS version property of it, which is what we're looking at here. But you can get some more information using just the PS version table variable. Yeah, there you can see some additional information. And this variable works inside of just plain old PowerShell 7. And it works in the venerable Windows PowerShell. So def definitely the way to go. And lastly, it's even going to function as we expect in a remote session. So the takeaway here is that the best way to get the PowerShell version is using ps version table.ps version. Thank you for watching.